So something quite funny about World War II zombies came into my mind before, and that's most of the teasers were literally just Twitter images of zombie body parts. Like, how 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 is that supposed to get us hyped? But anyway, today we're talking about DLC 1 for Resistance for World War II zombies once again, because I wasn't really planning this, but some info came up, so we're going to make this short video. But I did actually want to point out that for Black Ops 3 at this point, it had already been revealed to us, DLC 1, and for Infinite Warfare, the DLC would have been released next week, well, revealed next week, so we could really see anything in any, any second apparently. But let's get into the juicy info, so remember this dodgy guy, yeah, bloody Mario from the headquarters for zombies? He's actually an important character, he's, he's not just a, a random lurker, he's this sort of general guy called like Rideau or something. You know, he, he's in the train before they get attacked by that big, by the big, I, I don't even know, let's just call it a dog, it's probably a dog. So yeah, Main man Mario, he's actually coming back because the main developer for World War II Zombies, pretty much the new Lee Ross or Jason Blundell, tweeted out saying that they're recording new voice lines for for Mustache M Mario. Yeah, that's, that's what it's called. So yeah, he, apparently he didn't die. He's he, he either went to a different dimension or something, you know, he teleported, or, or he's just he's just walking to DLC 1. He's walking all across Europe. You know how it goes, so I don't think we really care about him, but he might become a big character. And also the voice actress for Marie Fisher also sort of hinted up she's recording stuff for DLC 1. I don't know, that's what, that's what Dalek thinks. So uh, yeah, apparently so, apparently so. So if you guys were around for Infinite Warfare Zombies, you'll know that Lee Ross, the main developer for that zombies, always tweeted out images of the voice actors when they're doing stuff before the DLC, then we'd get stuff for that DLC like a reveal not long after. So, uh, looks like DLC 1 is cooking up, my friends. We could see something very soon. So, stay tuned for that. Looking at that image just made me realize that Treyarch went from this to this. It's, it's not a related subject, but, uh, it, it's crazy. So, yeah. It was a short video because I wasn't really planning anything, it was pretty rushed, but uh, yes, yeah, stay spicy my friends and, you know, stay tuned for updates and whatnot.